Welcome, my beautiful people. Your beautiful people. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, I want to do a live on Facebook, YouTube, and um, because um, yesterday I had an idea. Um, I had a thought which is going to come to fruition to, um, instead of my initial plan to write a book on sacred sun gazing and toxic junk blue light, my sequel to the sun gazing book, Sunlight Sun Gazing, which I gave out for free, by the way. I gave out that book for free. It was on Amazon free um, last Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, just gone. So my idea yesterday, my high consciousness idea was um, instead of waiting a whole year, I've already got great information on... My God, I've got great information um, that's never been seen in book format on um, collating from years of my own experiences and watching you guys on YouTube, um, Facebook, when you see talking about it a lot, Kay and Rip and many other people, beautiful people. So I thought, right, instead of wasting time, um, let's um, get out the inf get out this year the second book quick, because it won't take me long to write, but it'll be full of geeky information on sacred sun gazing, because it is sacred sun gazing, and the toxic junk blue light at night because I really want to hey I've been going crazy with toxic junk blue light at night it's not just as we seem to think protection from our eyes from look health health eyes is the most important photoreceptor of light right it's a fact but it's not just about sun gazing where you get that optimal nutrition in sun gazing gives you information into your eyes which is beautiful so that's amazing that's half the equation of health the other half of the equation of health is protecting your eyes from junk light at night. Yeah, it's not just about sun gazing, going outside, even though the cloud cover, cloud gazing. That's half. The other half is really important too, which is protecting your eyes from junk light at night. So therefore, I will collect and try and get that out um, by February 26th. So I'm going to kind of do it quickly, but it'd be awesome info and I won't skip anything. And also by Divinity, that was my idea yesterday. Today has been an all clear sky in the UK. Fucking, uh, I think, well, where I am in the UK, south of London, it's been nice and clear, which has been awesome. And um, almost like God is telling me, hey, and it's rarely that clear on a winter's day like this. We don't get many whole days of cloudless. Um, so I've just been out to the park and um, literally done one and a half hours of sun gazing at prime time, sunset time, which I rarely do. I rarely get the chance last year because I've been busy networking with you guys doing business shit as well as health, doing less health last year, but this today I took some time out and I recognised the signs and did some beautiful sun gazing, felt amazing, getting that red light to the ocular system. And I know I, I know what I'm gonna I know which angles I'm gonna cover with sun gazing. It's it's uh, and a phenomenal sun gazing is a, a phenomenal um, activity for health. And also I'm gonna cover uh, sunrise sunset. Um, I didn't cover it fully in the sunrise sunset book, my first one. My first one was phenomenal, really good for um, some sunlight, really good for vitamin D, red light therapy, but it didn't cover too much on sun gazing, even though it was entitled. This one will cover all angles of sun gazing, all, all angles that he shit, and why you should, and why why you blissed out, and why you need it. And hey, also this book is going to cover something I don't think is pretty unusual in any sun gazing book you'll find out there. It's called Midday Sun Gazing. Because yes, I started out, and I'll share a little bit of my story in there without boring you too much, in it about how I started out with midday sun gazing and I didn't get the opportunity to do sunrise sunset sun gazing. In fact, when I started in February 2018 with sun gazing, I wasn't even into sunrise sunset. I didn't understand the power of red light therapy at that point. Yo, Joe, how's it going, bro? How's it going? Yeah, flat earth for sure. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Appreciate you. So yeah, didn't even start out with um, uh, mid um, with sunrise sunset sun gazing. I started out with midday sun gazing. I didn't know the power of, of red light therapy, of sunrise sunset sun at that point. So that's another thing I'm going to cover in the book, because I know people are interested. Um, people have heard of, even our community, they might have heard of Sunrise Sunset Sun Gazing. They have not heard, um, many of us. Well, now we're catching up, but it's people like myself that have been on the prime time with that, and not just me saying, hey, you can do any sun. Did you know that? You can work your way up. And did you know what? You don't even need to work your way up sometimes. You can just be hardcore like me and go and rush out and do as much midday sun gazing as possible. And... Blink a little bit because guess what? Your eyes protect you from light. Hello, your eyes protect you. They got um, your eyes blink and your eyes water to protect you. You can't go blind from the sun. Come on, come on now, people. And even if you did, that's one in ten million. Are you really the one in ten million? I don't think so. You're the other lot, the most, the norm. Very powerful. So yeah, the midday sun raising is huge. Think about the things I'm going to cover in this book. My God, one of them, pineal gland decalcification. From midday sun and from red light therapy. Oh, uh, decalcification? I lie. No decalcification. Your pineal grows in size. This is this happens when they when people die and they've been sun gazing regularly 
and the, check the pineal glands are three or four times bigger. It's in completely in line. Sun gazing at any time is complete alignment with your spiritual vibration uplift. Completely. That's just one angle. Oh my God. Um, how long do you want me to talk? How long, how long of a video we got? How much time you got to watch? I could go on forever. That's why I've got to write the book. Because it's not just one thing. There's many angles we need to do. Like downloads, consciousness, physical health, obviously. Physical health and spiritual, emotional health. You feel invincible when you do sun gazing. Um, it changes your brainwave states to alpha and theta when most of us are in um, beta. If you're in high beta, which is stressful, you don't want to be, it goes down to low beta. If you do it longer, alpha and theta. So it's brainwave training. It resets your circadian rhythm. It optimizes your circadian function so your um, your body your body organs now get reset to the optimal time. They'll function at the optimal times where they were designed to by nature. Now, but they won't if you're indoors all day, and if you're outside in cloud cover, it will too. But it will definitely optimize your circadian rhythm, which means that you'll sleep better at night. You'll have the deep sleeps when you sun gaze. You know what I mean? There's there's a lot of angles to cover that, but it's not even about that. It's also about the other part, which is what I'm wearing the blue blockers. Yeah, I definitely want to talk enough because it's not talked off. Look, sun gazing is talked about on Facebook and in the health community, um, but what's not is toxic junk blue light at night. Because I know you guys, no offense, are not wearing blue blockers whilst you're watching the screen at night time you're watching blue screens at night time maybe you, you you're a bit better than normal you don't watch one hour before bed very cool but are you from sundown to sun bed from sundown to sun bed in winter time that's like four or five hours before you go to, from sundown to maybe not in non summer but winter yes you got a long time between sundown when there's no light and you are you wearing your blue blockers no well okay that's cool that's why i'm gonna write the book because you guys need to be and I'll tell you why and the benefits of wearing blue blockers. And I'll put in the book as well cheap ones like this, which costs eleven dollars. Yes, yeah, very cheap. Ten pounds in the UK, five to seven pounds, and that will change your health history because, like I said at the beginning, it's not just about maximizing sunlight nutrition to your ocular system, your eyes. It's also about protecting them because we live in a toxic environment that's got full of toxic light, junk light at night. Yo, cheers, Solomon. So, with that being said, I hopefully will be out in the next three weeks. Part of them. Um, part of a mad rush i'm going to step it up for 2020 i think we all should in terms of our physical health protocols whatever if you're business minded physical health minded a bit of both looking to enhance your spiritual emotional health you should be working on yourself this year is the year if you want to um if you want to um if you feel lonely go out and meet your tribe go and not just in facebook go out in the real world go and video calls i'm up for video calls with anyone here if anyone wants to video call me we'll chat and just have some fun and shit but just connect this is the year when it all changes it's a massive year. It's been changing a little bit since 2012, right? Everyone's been coming up. Even before that, but it's going to be a mass rise, so we've got to rush. We've got to rush. There's no time like the present and now, so let's get shit done. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely